Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Git deployer uh, on your server. So basically, instead of having to FTP your files up to your server every time, uh, all you have to do is basically just do a Git push to your server and it's going to do all the deploy stuff for you. All right, so in the previous episode, we used a domain uh, called uh, checkin.me. Um, We're going to log into the same server, but this time I'm going to use a, the, a different domain. Called Cloud Scribe. So let's just quickly go through and set that up on Nginx. Uh, we know how to do that now, so I'm just going to quickly log in. So I'm just going to go into my uh, where I host all my files. And I'm going to make a directory. Looks good. All right, so it's an empty directory. Uh, it has nothing inside. And so now we're going to go and set up our Nginx file. So I'm going to go to my uh, etsy Nginx. And go to sites available. So it's going to be pretty much the same as the previous one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy check in, not me, and just rename it and just go in there and edit a few files. So cp, actually we need to do a sudo on this. Looks good. All right, so now we have another uh, Nginx config file. So I'm just going to quickly go in there and do an edit. Okay, so pretty much all we have to do is just change the domain. All right, I think that looks good. I don't think I've missed anything. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that. Okay, so on the same server, we can host as many, you know, sites as we want. I mean, static sites are pretty low computational wise, like they're low requirement. So basically in one, you know, server with the modern day CPU, you can host a few, you know, hundred uh, servers, depending on obviously how many requests uh, and response, you know, you get per site. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, just showing you how to set up a multi-site setup with Nginx. So now I'm going to go over into sites enabled. So now I'm gonna do a symbolic link. So let's do ln-s slash etc nginx sites available. And that's it. That looks good. It's blue. It's not red, which means the reference is set up correctly. Um, so now we can do a restart on our Nginx server. So sudo service Nginx start. Whoops, seems to be a problem. Okay, so let's check the Nginx log. Okay, um, so it says could not build a server names hash. Uh, you should increase server names hash bucket size 32. Um, all right, well, that's not a problem. So let's, you know, let's go ahead and fix that. So basically what it's saying is there's not enough uh, storage to store all the, you know, the domain, like, you know, the, w, the, the server name that we use to set up. Uh, basically it's a hash uh, of all the domains. So we need to enlarge that a little bit for our Nginx uh, to, to, you know, register all the domains correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Nginx config file. Uh, so in CD, etc, Nginx, we're going to edit a sudo nginx.conf, sudo vi nginx. 
index.com. So basically in here, we need to make, um, you know, it support more than 32 characters for the server names. So here we go, we're just gonna uncomment that line. And you know, we can even make it like 256 characters if we want. So just, you know, what the hell. So it supports more than you know, a few sites. So save that, and then we're gonna do sudo service nginx restart. So that did it. Um, so now we have multiple sites hosted on our server and you know with multiple domains and all that stuff. So now the, the cool thing is we need to set up the, the Git deploy for Cloud Scribe, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna go CD into our home folder and in here I'm gonna create a new folder called uh, cloudscribe.git. I'm gonna CD into that. So what I'm gonna do here is something a little bit special. Normally when we initialize a Git repository, we just do Git in it, right? However, here we're gonna add the option bare. Um, so this is a special type of a Git directory. It's, it's basically gonna put all the Git files into the, the, you know, in the directory. So here are the files, like usually when you have a Git repository, you have the, you know, the cd.git. You can do it like a, go into the Git folder and you'll see all these files. So basically here, what we need to do is we need to configure a post receive hook to basically, um, you know, check out you know, and you know, basically transfer all the files from our from our push into the deployment directory, which is slash opt slash www that we set up earlier on. So I'm just going to go into the CD hooks, and uh, I'm going to create a new file. Uh, so I'm going to do a touch uh, post receive. Looks good. So now I'm gonna do a vi post receive. All right, so now we just need to uh, config this file to work correctly. So we're just gonna do export. Git work tree equals slash opt www. And basically that's it. So essentially, we're just pointing the, the work, the working directory uh, for for this particular Git repository, to uh, our the, the folder that we created earlier on, um, and all we're going to do after that is do a Git checkout hyphen f master. So the master branch is going to be the branch we're going to use to do all the deploy stuff. Pretty much, that's all we need to do in the in the post receive hook. Simple, right? So, okay, now we can see that there's a difference in the color. The file that we created post receive does not have a green highlight. That means that it's not executable. So we need to make it executable. And to do that, we need to do a ch mod plus x post receive. So now the post receive is green. So the server side of things were all set up. I mean, now all we need to do is pretty much we can just exit from our server. So now we're back in our uh, local, you know, environment. So as I do that, so do repositories. So this is where I keep all my work. Um, so I'm going to make a directory. CD into the folder I just created for my project. And do a normal git init. All right, so now I have a git repository for my project and I'm just gonna do sub L to load up my editor. So let me just move that into view. All right, so here, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new file called index.html. And here, I'm just gonna do the same thing, doc type HTML, you know, just the basic, you know, HTML file that we have. And here we're going to have head, same old boring, you know, HTML that we used before, no big deal. But here the difference is we're actually editing it, you know, I mean, if you're hosting, if you're like doing some hosting service, uh, you know, you would want to have this sort of set up for your clients because, uh, you know, you want them to be able to work on their computer and then they can pretty much update their, their site through a, a Git push. So, all right, so that's done. Uh, I'm just going to do a Git. Status git add 
commit our index.html and do a uh, so before we can do anything, we need to set up our remote uh, server to be able to push to our uh, production server. So ideally, you would have uh, multiple remotes. I mean, you, you would have a Git uh, repository on GitHub or like Beanstalk or Bitbucket, whatever you use. You would create a Git remote, add origin, and you would paste in your, your uh, repository, where, whether it's on GitHub or whatever. And that would be where you would save all your stuff. And you would add another one called production or staging uh, environment, and you would just type in the URL for that. So in our case, it's going to be the deployer user and the IP of the... So if you don't want to use an IP address, you can map like a master domain. So for example, if you're like, you know, hosting service.com or whatever over here, and it looked pretty cool. So I'm just going to use IP for now and then do a colon and basically dot git. So that's basically the git repository that we set up, the bare git repository that we set up. And uh, yeah, that should be it. So git remote hyphen v looks good. So now if I do a git push uh, production master. So this looks kind of like uh, Heroku. If you're familiar with Heroku, you do a git push. You set up the you know environment and it pushes a file into your server. Um, so now, if I go into the browser and I do a cloudscribe.be, uh, it should show up the file. There it is. Look at that. And if I access it from you know just cloudscribe without the www, uh, it should still work just fine. Um, so now, I mean, I can just, you know, edit and add a new, another paragraph and, you know, do a git commit. And git push, production, master. And that is pretty much, you know, a, a sublime workflow. I mean, that's so awesome. Like, you can just edit your project, push it up, and you know, it deploys, and you just, all you have to do is, so it's much faster and much more efficient than uh, doing FTP updates and, you know, syncing your files and whatever. Git just pretty much handles all the magic for you, right? So, you know, it's very, you know, saves a lot of time, and it's a, it's a very nice setup. So that's it for this episode, and in the next episode, um, you know, we're going to move on to discussing uh, other things like, you know, how do we get this set up to work with a dynamic site like a Rails app or something like that. So that's it, guys.